Consumer goods, that is, products for daily use, such as food, soap, and candles, have existed for centuries. But in the 1800s, the Industrial Revolution transformed the choice of products for people in Europe and America. Instead of being produced locally and at small scale, they were now mass-produced in factories. More standardized products and new forms of packaging, such as cans and cardboard boxes, were the opportunity for an explosion in creating identities or brands for these products. Consumer packaged goods, or CPGs, were born. Today, we see CPG products whenever we walk into a supermarket or a grocery store. Food and beverage, or F&B, is the largest category. This includes everything from staples like tinned vegetables and dry pasta, to confectionery and soft drinks, to ice cream. Personal care and beauty products help keep us clean and looking good. For example, shampoo, toothpaste, and cosmetics like makeup. Home care includes household products like cleaning supplies and paper products. In health care, we can find over-the-counter medicine, vitamins, and supplements. Then come alcohol and tobacco. And finally, we have special categories such as baby and pet care. What about the products in the fresh section, including meat and vegetables? They're often sold loose, and even when they have packaging, they're usually free of branding. So these products are usually not considered to be CPGs. CPGs are bought frequently, sold in large quantities, and are generally perishable within two to three years. They also have relatively high turnover or rotation on the shelf in store. So they are also known as fast-moving consumer goods, or FMCG. A small number of important new subcategories have developed in response to major shifts in consumer demand, such as gluten-free and plant-based meat. But overall, the major product categories we mentioned have historically been very stable. In most cases, they've existed for many decades, and some famous brands or even individual products are over 100 years old. In this primer, we will see how products are created and managed, the economics of running a CPG company, and the key trends shaping this industry. Let's begin.